Okay, as as funny as it is to make a little Snapchat, a little, little like Instagram stories about stuff, I did want to tell you a thing. I promise I'm gonna be done with it. I'm not gonna bring down the vibe, but I did post like a Instagram story that I maybe I don't know. Eh, I was feeling stuff. So like I've had kind of a bad month, and I've been trying to figure out what it was, and I figured out what it was. I'm having a weird body image thing right now. I don't know what it is. I just don't think I look good. I don't know why. I think that- I don't know what happened at the start of the month. Sorry, I do know what happened at the start of the month. I can tell you exactly why, because I've spent the last month figuring it out. You know when I was picking outfits to go on this, like, nat date thing? Essentially what happened was, like, I was trying on all these outfits, trying to figure out what do. When I was trying on- usually when I try on outfits and shit, uh, for a stream, whatever it may be, I sort of go, okay, that's gonna look good on stream, that's gonna look good, because, like, you guys see me from, like, here, which is, like, a very controlled environment, you basically just see me from the fucking nipples up, you know, when it's just for stream, it's, it really doesn't matter, I kind of go, okay, cool, oh, I look good in that, let's go. Better. When I was trying to figure out what to wear in real life, um, you... I sort of, you start to sort of look at things differently. I sort of looked at how my body looks differently in things. Like, I'm sort of, like, I can't just go, like, okay, this is going to look good from the top up. And that's all I need to worry about. It's got to be, like, oh, I've got to look good generally. And I sort of went, like, oh, man, I don't. <laughs> I just don't. It, I just don't look good in, in whatever, what I was trying to wear. Like, random, like, girl stuff, because that's what I was trying on. Trying an outfit, like, dresses, whatever the fuck. Don't look good in it. So I was just like, oh man, and then it just became like a, a bigger thing, I guess. And it's like, dude, I think I spoke a lot about this like a while ago. Um, the whole thing of, uh, I had a bad time very early on in YouTube days and stuff, but I always got work done. I always got my shit done. I've done nothing for like five days. I think for like, it's been like six, like six days. I don't know. Since I streamed, I've done nothing. I literally, I have woke up been on TikTok in bed for the day. I went downstairs to make food. I eat the food. I lay down on on a couch for a bit and then I watch my, and then the, and then the day's done and then I just go to bed. And I do that all all the time. I just repeat. And I that's I've that's never been a thing with me before. Never had that issue. I've always been able to get stuff done. So it's all like a it's it, I I just couldn't face like taking photos of myself cuz I just felt that I looked really bad. I just don't like it. But I do have some good news. Cuz that was, you know, this is a thing of like yesterday. But I do have some good news for today, which is kind of nice. Is like um I'm in a much better mood today. Uh there's like what's it called? We had like uh this thing Nat proposed, yeah. No, um I, I, I recently met up with someone that's been uh, sort of helping out and being very sweet and everything. And uh, yeah, it's been good. It's been very nice. And, you know, don't take photos, take E. What? Ha <laughs> it's not like a burnout thing. I love working. I just couldn't fucking get myself to look up my body, bro. I just didn't feel like I looked good. But things are getting better. Basically, uh,. I've got someone here, which is nice. Someone, you know, in the fucking city that I can sort of see every day, which is a big, you know, sort of benefit and everything. And it means, like, I'm getting my... I wanted to get my eating habits right, because I feel like whenever I eat like shit, I feel like shit, and I was eating like shit for a very long time. So I want to get that right. I want to work out. I want to feel like, you know... I've been talking to, like, Claire a lot. I spoke to Chris a lot. Uh, just general talking friends. I spoke to Soda a good bit, new people and everything. I just been speak Abby. I've been speaking to a lot of people about just close friends about everything. I usually have the thing of like I like to try and tackle problems that I have as like an objective sort of thing. Uh, but I was really struggling to to do that, and now I've got someone here. I feel like I can like do the thing now. You know, I've got like a bit of help. So to just get back on the fucking rhythm of self care and shit, and I you know it's, it's good stuff. Also, can I say one thing, just on the note of, like, the Instagram story I put out saying out of body image issues? Women that are in just absurdly beautiful also reaching out and saying, like, uh, what's it called? Saying, like, oh, yeah, we I have to, like, I go through this shit all the time, like, body dysmorphia, like, trust me, it goes away and shit. Like, and I went, like, you, motherfucker? You? 
You're like an anime character. How the fuck, bro? So apparently, very universal issue. And so that's been nice to know. The other thing is, for the love of God, chat, or not chat even, Reddit users, please, fuck's sake, can we not comment on my weight? <laughs> While I don't mind it, sort of, <laughs> like, you see me from here up, and I there was genuinely comments about like, on Reddit that were like, it's probably about his fucking skinny ass arms. <laughs> like, there are people on Reddit. Okay, so hold on, to give the rest of you context. I posted an Instagram story, it was like, sorry guys, I've, I haven't posted, I've been on body image issues, it's been real shitty. And then that got posted on Reddit, and I got a lot of, 99% uh, of awesome, like, very nice replies. And then, like, some people have, I, like, hold on, let me show you. I'm, like, sitting at the, my computer, sort of like this, so you get a weird, like, up, up angle. Like, who the fuck ever sees an arm like that, I guess, so I'm like this. And then you get people on Reddit being like, for you guys have his tiny fucking arms. He's lost so much, gut. his feeble arms. <laughs> Worry about his weight, dude. That's what it is. It's a, it's, it's, bro. Like I'm, like I'm concerned about Finn's weight loss, and it's like motherfucker. I have had like so many health checkups in the last few weeks, bro. Well, not last few weeks. In the last like this year. Oh god, it feels. God lord, this time passed fast. Like six months. Oh my god, I've had like, it, bro. Since like the fucking gallbladder shit, I've had. Oh, dude, I made sure my pancreas was fine, you know. So like. I'm good. I've got like, I think I've had like three different tests and shit. I'm good. I know what I'm doing. I'm healthy. Besides the celiac disease, but you know, whatever. Don't call them SpongeBob. Don't pro don't call them SpongeBob SpongeBob arms. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I know they're not big. I know they're not giant biceps. I'm not fucking uh, Pasha from old. C That's a niche reference, but you know, I know I don't have the craziest bicep genetics, right? I don't work arms. Uh, but like, bro, you know, I'm, I'm, okay, it's okay, you know, like, it's, it's not bad, I'm, like, I'm, like, com comparatively to, like, oh my god, can you, hair, motherfucker, like, size, like, compared to size of head or something like that, just something normal, I don't know, the mic, you know, I got, they're okay, they're not bad. Finch Jack. <clears throat> You saying about fucking like jank, bro? Okay, I'm not like 